welcome back. I'll save you the heartache of having to read what I was gonna put up on the screen just because I didn't want my video to get deleted. Um, I, I thought that people were done being immature and everything because we had taught people a lesson. We'd cycled through several trucks without having an issue. Um, people were, were not mouth breathers as much as they used to be. Uh, and then, you know, this happened. And th this wasn't even purposely destroying this. We just had to get it off the road, so we ended up, we ended up pushing it with the excavator. But, you know, it ended up like this. We were testing it out, seeing how much a square body could handle, and go figure, all the broke boys came out. All the butt hurt manlets came out of the closet and uh, went to the Facebook group chats. But what I can do is I can, I can make sure this doesn't run again. We were already gonna do that, actually. I can buy more. You know it's a work truck. Everybody's like, it served its community proudly and it went out like that. How dare he? I'm sorry. It's not like a brand new truck, you know? But we can get a brand new one if everyone's gonna complain. See, now you respect me because I'm a threat. Because I, di I didn't realize uh, how many butt hurt manlets still are left on this earth. We're gonna take this load off and we're gonna see if everything goes back to normal. And uh, unfortunately now I'm required to prove this square bodies are junk. I was gonna actually do a legit test, but now we're just gonna prove that they're absolute crap. I, I can I can sling this over the house and I'm sure it won't live very much longer. So we're gonna see how it does. And then we're gonna go shopping for another square body. push on the bed to squeeze it in a little. second gen Dodge because it couldn't drive itself anywhere. Notice, you know, the best part about this is that the piece of crap, dry rotted, old faded plastic bumper that's been on there tw 27 years looks a hundred times as good as an eighth gen Cummins bumper mounted on there with a gap about this big and three light bars in between it. You don't like that? Say psych right now or I'm going to slap you. If you like a fifth gen Cummins bumper mounted on a second gen, you got major problems. I'm going to put in four low. And we're gonna take off. Yeah, let me unhook the chain because we're gonna go on the road again. Oh, if you didn't notice, we're recreating all the old square body commercials. But the difference is, today's generation can't handle that, so everyone's getting all salty, and the people that claim they don't get offended about everything are getting so offended. But that's funny because back when they did it on the commercials, nobody got so mad.
tire? No, I couldn't even you tell. You didn't hear it? Oh, yeah. No, I couldn't. Yeah, it that's sounded like a gunshot. That's, that's what the boom was? Yeah. Hey, whoa, whoa, watch the fence. Oh, not the fence. My grandpa's gonna kill me. Why? He's gonna kill me. Better watch out. You better get this out of here. I think we better unload it here instead of trying to pull it out of here. We're gonna rip the whole yard up. Idiot! I swear by it didn't even last me 20 minutes. Nope. Wow! You can feel all over the place. Dang, this thing just got, oh my god. This thing got major oofed up. See. You know what's funny? The guy kind of thought he was screwing me over because I actually saw on Facebook Marketplace in one of the groups he was in there. And he had the picture of his truck, his profile pic, because it was his newly found clout. He didn't realize that oh, the famous person bought the truck. See, people were like, oh, he bought it. He's just going to destroy it. Believe it or not. The kid comments, the trans is going to go out real fast. Ask me how I know. The thing was all rusted out and junk. The guy thought he was basically, thought he was screwing me over. Um, and then I... I DM'd him and I was like, do you want me to throw that in the video that you're you're literally like bragging about screwing me over? I said, the truck's totaled, so I don't care. So I'm glad no one else got screwed over. But I think we should throw that in the video. The guy thought he was screwing me over. <laughs> he didn't show in the, none of the pictures or tell me that the bed was all rusted out and that the trans was bad apparently, which the trans held up just fine to what we just did. He destroyed such a nice truck. Would you look at that? That's it wasn't so nice after garbage. all. See, you went to your mommy and daddy and complained the whole time. And then it just so happens that you didn't need to complain. So you got all worked up for no reason, sweetie pie. Worthless. So grandma's gonna cook you a little bowl of rice soup and you can go to bed now. What was I saying? Rice soup. No, not that one. Anyways, the kid thought he was screwing me over. <laughs> Wrong guy to screw over here. When we picked it up, he Did said- what do you say? He said it, he'd be sad to see it go, but he got the cash in his pocket so he doesn't care. He said that? Yeah. Yeah, he did say that. He did. Mm. He, did say, he did actually say that. No, he left the bed full of beer cans, like, in trash. It was just, completely, like, yeah, full. It was full. To it cover the full. rust. Dude, that's what it was for. Probably. Yeah. It was to cover the rust. That's why he left so many beer cans it's in like the bed. The beer cans just come with it. And I got his truck and I destroyed it, so who cares? Dylan Bode. Dylan he blocked Bode. me instantly on Marketplace the second I tried calling him out on it, but what can you do? I'm just going to buy every single one of their trucks and destroy them all right in front of their eyes. What did he look like? Was he goofy looking? Yeah, yeah. Hill Jacks. They were. Hill -jacks. They were. It doesn't, I wouldn't surprise me. Jason ran over their well. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, not to cover up. That's how Anyways, Buddy thought he was screwing us over, but little did he know we pulled the Uno reverse card and, uh, well, Lord. gee golly, I'm so worried that the trans was going to go out in 30,000 miles. And I'm glad that no one else got screwed over. You're getting tetanus. Some 16-year-old kid would have tried to buy this thing and it would have thought he'd a good true. start yeah. on a project that's and true. gotten hosed. That's I what the guy said, too. He's like, this is a good a start bit, to restoring. He said that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is the most square body. I've, I've built a square body. This See, is not a good start. I've contemplated, <laughs> I've contemplated a lot of other vehicles to like test out and destroy. When I say this, just know I'm only talking about the ones that get offended and mad. Everyone's like, I was raised to appreciate things and I work hard for everything I have. So when I see an unappreciative, spoiled brat kid like this, F, F him, you know. Um, if you are that mad, if you are that mad that you are writing death threats about a rusted out, 38 year old, clapped out, rusted to crap, piece of crap, junk crap, square body, that, and you couldn't afford it to save it because it was up on marketplace for like someone said months it was on marketplace um you could have bought it and i wouldn't have got it but no one else stepped in so i bought it and look what happened see you got offended you should warn the people before you buy it no, you have three days to buy this that's a good point that is you have someone you promote so many sales you buy this 48 or I'm hours or i am buying it how bad of an upbringing did you have to have to be mad about this to be mad about this. Was you gonna take this? Was you gonna eat this for lunch? I'm sorry. Oh no. Did I just bend your lunch, your snack? Were you gonna Unlogical. polish this up? Were you gonna polish this up? Or were you gonna restore that bed? Look at this. Were you gonna, oh, they were That's gonna how, restore that. They were gonna restore that fender. Shoot, we scratched that part. Oh, I think I'm scratched the floor. Are you really that mad about it? I know you didn't know it was that bad, but you should've, you shouldn't have assumed anything on the internet, right? You couldn't see inside the bed. What else did I want to point out? What promotes a person to get mad about this? 
you know? What was gonna happen to this truck if I didn't buy it? Homeboy, broke boy, was gonna leave in his driveway, rusting out, he's gonna drive in the winter, he said he daily drove it, so he's gonna drive in the winter in Indiana, and it was gonna rust out even more, and he's gonna say, oh, I can't afford to fix the bed. I can't afford to fix the cab corners. I can't afford to fix, none of it. And he's gonna sit there and rot, and then he's gonna post it for 15K and say, I got this square body project y'all can buy and restore. And no one's gonna buy it, and it's gonna go to shit, it's a junkyard. So what did I do? I bought it, and I put it through the best thing you've ever seen, and it went to the scrapyard even faster. And it went out in flaming glory. So I don't wanna hear no complaining. If you claim to be an unoffended, un not easily offended, real country boy, who's not a snowflake, what's the opposite of a snowflake? A solid piece of hardened steel. Yes. If you ain't no snowflake, you don't get mad about this because you're a hypocrite. If you've worked so hard for everything you've earned, you worked for it and you bought it with your own money, right? So who say I didn't work for this and buy it with my own money and I did what I want with it? What if I don't like restoring stuff? Look at these wheels. So someone said that these were really rare. There's an entire Facebook group dedicated to weld wheels. I ended up on there real quick. Everyone, he bought a truck with weld wheels. He's gonna destroy them. So we get to do that now. Remember, if you ain't no snowflake, you won't, you won't get mad. I worked very hard for my weld wheels. I put them into this world, and I'm gonna take them out. Take them out right away. Oh, were these transmissions rare? Yes. Be easy on, be easy on it. Hey, oh. hey, stop. That's a Richmond P10 59 four speed. That's Take it expensive. Easy. I bet that's rare. Country boys would kill to have those. They'd kill to have this four speed transmission. Oh. Someone said it was disrespectful to the fire department. Yeah, <laughs> it's third force community. <laughs> Acting like it's a human, literally. This truck served its community and it I'm just disrespecting them. Like, you boy, you got serious issues. You got a problem. Please be a cop. Dang it. I never get cops around here. Man, the lack of cop here. problems really disappoints me. Next I've seen here. I've seen one out here. I just wanted to let everybody know that in the last few minutes I've gained sorrow. And I've decided to repent of my ways and treat this truck kindly because it can still be restored. Yes. What's the job? What is that? Up. Psych! Oh. Oh. right in the back of the shoulder. <laughs> you ass right there. You know, I'm not very impressed with the durability of these square bodies. Durabilities are garbage. Like if I were to get a dent side, I'm pretty sure it would last quite a bit longer. If you got a dent side, 
You wouldn't even notice it had any sure dents. I yeah, I would have done a burnout like all the way down this road 25 been, times. Uh, at least 45. Like, like when I hauled the truck, I could have put another truck on that truck with two trucks on that. Oh, at least five more trucks. I wouldn't even notice it. Oh, it's boiling. Just a real quick outro here because everybody hates outros. Uh, I really lost respect for this brand of truck after seeing the owners that, that support it so much. If, if everyone who supported it would have been a common, uh, common sense, uh, normal minded person, um, then that wasn't death threatening people, then, then yeah, this would probably be a great truck, but it's really sad that the owners have to be so shallow minded and, and can't you know realize that when a truck is, is a truck made out of metal, it's meant to work. It's a truck, okay? It's got a bed that's meant to be loaded and a cab that's meant to be loaded on top of itself. So. And a hood. Mm. Not too impressed with the performance, really. Yep. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you're offended, I would get help. But if you're not and you enjoyed the video, I will see you next time.